<laughs> oh, hey everybody, I'm just listening to my brand new audiobook. Do you want to check it out? Listen to this sample, then order it on my website. Enjoy. To be or not to be? Persian, that is the question. One that is carefully explored in this audiobook. I was born and raised in America, but I'm inviting you along as I investigate the mysteries of my Middle Eastern roots. Prepare to be charmed with funny immigrant family memories, horror stories from the road, valuable cultural tips, and three delicious recipes. This is the perfect cultural text for anyone who's Middle Eastern or who is not, but has heard of that region. Okay, can we stop the music for a second? Uh, stop! Thank you. Can I be honest with you? I wrote this as a book for you to read. You're supposed to be reading this. But then I found out people like to listen to audiobooks now, so here we are. I'm reading it to you. Is there anything else you'd like me to do as well to make your life easier? That's why I'm here. I can come over to your house and give you a foot rub and read it to you myself if you'd like. Of course, I'll probably charge you a little more for that, so please email me if interested. Now take a moment, think if you want to take advantage of that offer, and until then, I'll be over here reading this book. Here we go. Everybody loves buying things from Costco, but my father loves returning things there. A long time ago, they made a huge mistake by announcing their policy. We will take back anything at any time. Now this may or may not be a Persian thing, but because of this policy, my father actually gets excited when something in our house breaks. He stands in the living room and proudly declares, It's okay, we go to Costco. The key word here is we, because this is now a family affair. We head to the store together, shuffle through the return line, exchange our items for store credit, and then go shopping for new ones. And no matter how many times we successfully pull this off, it is always stressful and embarrassing. While standing by my father's side, I've witnessed him return many things to Costco, testing the limits of his $65 yearly membership. P.S. The price may have gone up by the time you're hearing this, so please don't write me asking where you can get a discounted membership. Just keep listening. Here's a few items my father has returned to Costco and the reason why. A toaster. The reason? There are too many crumbs at the bottom of it. Printer. Reason? It ran out of ink. And clothing. Why? because the color faded after 14 years of washing. He even got away once with returning something he didn't even buy from Costco. The absolute best was when he attempted to return our big old TV from the family room. You know those old ones that were surrounded by wood? Well, when asked why he was dissatisfied, his answer? The problem is it's too big. You know, it doesn't fit in our home. We want to exchange this for one of the flat screens. The lady looked at the receipt, and then back at my father with disdain. For nine years, it hasn't fit. They made a rule shortly after that, putting a two-year limit on returning televisions, which I believe was in direct response to our family. The last time we went, the cashier looked up my dad's account history and informed us that somehow he'd returned more items than he'd ever bought from Costco. They gave him a warning and said this would be the last time they would accept a return and that his account has now been flagged nationwide. We walked those aisles that day for what I knew might be the last time. You could feel a sense of loss and hopelessness in the air. A week later, something in our house broke. We all looked at Dad trying to figure out how he might respond. He sat for a long time, scratching his chin, and then had an epiphany. It's okay. We go to Sam's Club. If you want to hear me reading you three and a half more hours of stories just like that, then get the audiobook now. What are you waiting for?